come on, I'm not going to stay here all day looking pretty. Well, we got we to gotta show your house there, don't we? There was no lawn here at all. It disappeared. By watering twice a day, uh, twice a week, I've got some, but it'll big sand spurs. So what I'm wait, I'm going to dig out the sand spurs and uh, where there is grass, I don't want it. I'll move that where the grass is I need it. I don't want any evidence for the police. <laughs> okay, let's do that one again now. Tell me that story again. Mm. There you are. Tom, tell me that story again. She wouldn't eat today. No, you, you, the story you well, told me. Well, I think she, the heat's got her. No, the, the story you told me. Huh? The story you just said. I didn't get it on camera. Get what? The little story you told me about being naked or some damn thing. Oh, you mean you have sound on? Well, sure. I said once the spirituals told us, a spiritual, spiritual person, a uh, professional for money, spiritual, told mother that my Great great grandmother looked over, and she lived to be 113. And so, if she's looking, my guardian angel. So when I have sex, I always has to leave the room. What else can I do? Yeah. <laughs> Is that right, baby? Yeah. She's a lady that lived to be 113. Walked a mile the day before she died. Eloped at 90, and came back the next day and said, "He isn't fitting to live in my barn. To live in my barn. To sleep in my barn." <laughs> I wonder what he did to her. Did he doodle her, I wonder? We wonder. That was at 90 she looked. She didn't tell anybody. Just look. She was a Londonderry lady, and uh, her husband was English, who had all of, owned all of Limerick on the River Shannon. Yeah. All of it. But when the boys were growing up, they started stoning the Catholics and the Catholics stoning him. So he came to the New World. And their ship was wrecked off in New Brunswick. We often wondered. See, everything was in gold in those days. America didn't have any money. Yeah. The gold. And it's all recorded. Lloyd's and London's records are perfect. They keep records on every ship that went up. Yeah. You can go there and see it. When I was in the second grade, there was a news story in the Independent here, the newspaper, saying how wealthy our family would be because there was only about 100 heirs and they owned all of Limerick. But see, the, the old homestead there was a monastery. Yeah. <laughs> and the Catholics owned it all. <laughs> and that's that.